Summer is here. Time to head for the water. And the big question for all of us with young kids, when's the right time to start teaching them to swim? How young is too young? The government is out with new guidelines, and our Dr. Richard Besser is here with the details. Hey, Rich. Good morning. Drowning is the second leading cause of death for children, with toddlers and teenage boys being at the greatest risk. So the American Academy of Pediatrics has revised its guidelines about when kids should first get in the water. For kids, summer fun usually involves the water. But for parents, that backyard pool may mean real danger. It's a hotly contested debate. Do swimming lessons for your toddler help them or harm them? For years, the American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended against lessons for toddlers, saying kids of that age are not developmentally ready, that lessons could give parents a false sense of security or take away a child's natural fear of the water. But now, new data suggests that early swim training may actually lower drowning rates in children between one and four. And because there's no evidence it can do harm, the AAP has revised its recommendation. We're no longer against swimming lessons uh, for these younger kids, uh, but we're certainly not uh, saying that everybody needs to rush out and get their kids swimming lessons. Are you surprised that they hadn't recommended that before? Shocked. What the, the intent of those programs are to give a really good reference, a really positive, fun reference to being in the water. We think the earlier the better. Any concerns about safety with her in the water at this young age? No, I don't. I mean, I, I, I feel very comfortable in the water, and it's shallow water, and, you know, never lose a grip on it. Some parents take this notion to the extreme. Children as young as six months actually learning to swim before they learn how to walk. Some classes like this one teach babies self-rescue skills in case they do fall into a pool. They learn to turn themselves over if they are face down in the water, and some are taught to cry. However, the AAP still does not recommend classes for babies under one. But for these tiny tots, learning to love the water now may save their lives later. I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to throw him in the water yeah. and just let him go, but I would want to know that he, if something were to happen when we were somewhere and he fell into the water, that he might he would be able to figure out how to do that for himself. But I like this class because it is a little bit um, more gradual. And I agree with the AAP about those swim classes where they throw the babies into the water. Uh, they're a bad idea, even if your baby does learn to float. That's not a substitute for smart, watchful parenting. You can't be too careful. Even if the kids love to be around the pool, you've got to always be there. What other guidelines do you have? Well, when you're around the pool, you never want the child, especially a baby outside of arm's length. Don't leave them in the, in the uh, watchful supervision of an older child. And one thing parents will often do, they'll use those water wings or floats and all the time. What's wrong with that? Well, they're fine as a social device, but they're not a safety device. Those can deflate and children drown. So you, so you want the full life vest for the little toddlers. That, that's right. You know, and in terms of, of pool safety, if you put a four-foot high fence around your pool, four-sided, that will reduce the risk of drowning in half. That's one of the most important things you can do. Because people have to remember this can happen so quickly with a toddler. That's right. You don't want to take your eyes off for even a second. Okay, Rich Besser, thanks very much. You can get a lot more tips on summer safety at our website at abcnews.com.